Y'all, how y'all doing? Happy Saturday. This is Miss Collins. Miss Tell Like It Is 48 to T. That's right, Miss T. In the place to be. <laughs> Coming at you. With some 411. I'm like, did y'all see that apartment that I showed you? Did y'all see that apartment that they quote unquote is supposed to be transitioning me to? Me and Jacob? Did it not, didn't that look like a basement? That looked like a basement. They're like, oh, Miss Collins, we got to gut it out to the beer walls. Let me tell you something. When I went to my primary care, and I just had a briefing with my primary care. My primary care was like, I'm seeing a lot of activity with you in the hospital. What's, what's going on? I said, what's going on is what I've been telling you what was going on at that other apartment. I said, well, that's what I've been telling you. And I said, and they trans they transferred me over to this apartment over here. So he was like, so they literally took you out of the frying pan and thrown you into the fire and blazing inferno. I said, what does your system say? I said, your system is connected to the system in the hospital. You're connected to the hospital. He said, Ms. Collins, I like, yes. I said, I'm just here for a briefing just to update you on what's been going on with me and my son Jacob because my son's Jacob his doctors are also connected to the same hospital so what my doctor can see with me he can see with my son my doctor got up left came back he said Miss Collins do you know that I am a member of OSHA I said what <laughs> he said I'm a member of OSHA he said, your next appointment is Monday. He said, I want you to bring everything. Bring everything. He said, I'm peeved. It's like, I said, I was trying to call you. I said, I was trying to call you and let you know. My confusion is this. You can see how I was in authority. I've seen you flatline buildings, like flat to the ground, bulldoze. And build up developments and complexes within two months. You're only dealing with one apartment. No, Miss Collins, it's 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 what? It's it's what? It's what for Miss Collins and her son Jacob is what? When me and the tenant association president went over there to take a peek, first of all, it was in plain view. I can see through the front window towards the back. We went into the back and I can see from the back window straight to the front. So what I saw, it had my jaw dropping. My jaw literally dropped to the ground, both me and the tenant association president. Because you have to remember, when we first viewed that apartment, we viewed it before they moved out all the furniture, before they did anything. We did three viewings of it. We, we viewed it before they moved out the furniture. We viewed it after they moved out, moved out the furniture. And then we viewed it again. So, and then we also took a peek in the back. So this was like, what, the fifth time we took a peek? That looked like somebody's unfinished basement. I said to myself, well, it's oh, they're going to remove all the beams. I don't care. I've seen you, New York City Housing Authority, New York City Housing Authority, I've seen you bring high rises to the ground within a matter of two months or a month and build up a brand new complex within the same month. Within one, I, I mean, I've seen you do it. You did it with the Ocean Hill Tools. Prospect Plaza. Yes, you have. I've seen it. I watched it, videoed it, everything. You're only dealing with one apartment. And you're making excuses? Like, really? So, my doctor gave me a referral for counseling. I told him, I said, I do a lot of shopping. He said, you're doing a lot of shopping to erase your pain. He said, they literally took you out of 
the frying pan and put you into the blazing inferno. That's what he has to say. He said, they took you from the apartment with Maul and Mildred, both you and your son. He said, I'm seeing in my system, you had pneumonia in your lungs. Your son had pneumonia in his lungs. Your oldest son had a skin condition, which is the same skin condition that your youngest son now has. And I was like, yeah. Yes. My oldest son had a skin condition because of that apartment over there that we came from. And then they had to do a skin biopsy on him. When I was reminded of that, let me tell you something. Every vein inside of my head popped because my blood was so hot. My blood boiled. I only got two boys. Two and his little brother back there. So, my thing is this. So, I said to my doctor, he said, I'm going to give you a referral for you to go for counseling. He said, because you're buying things. He said, you ever heard of the hoarders? I was like, I said, yeah. He was like, so I don't want to call things into existence. <laughs> I said, my doctor sent me for counseling. So I'm going for counseling. I'm going for physical therapy because of my injury. Air NYC. Come to check up on Jacob now and then. Because they came during the time of this mold abatement in here. They walked up into it. My asthma team. We were not born with asthma, by the way. New York City Housing Authority. My son was not born with asthma. He didn't come out of the hospital with asthma. He didn't develop asthma when he was one years old, two years old, three, whatever, whatever. It's after he went into the hospital with pneumonia in his lung at the age of five. He celebrated his sixth birthday in the hospital. My son came home on leave to find out that his little brother, his baby brother was in the hospital with pneumonia. Why? Because the New York City Housing Authority failed to comply with several court orders. So now here I am, the root. I am the root of the tree. The root. Three court orders. How many judges did you, New York City Housing Authority, speak to? Total of four. Four. And you couldn't even you couldn't even make your claim. You couldn't I threw you under the bus. With all my documentations and all my information, all my photos to support each of my documents. The, the judges looked at you like, you are hor you're horrible. You're horrible. You see how it's authority. The judge, let me tell you something. If she could have taken her Starbucks coffee and threw it at you, she would have. That's how angry she was. That's how angry that judge was. She was peeved. It. When she stepped down off that podium, she looked at me and she said, thank you, Ms. Collins. I see your frustration. I see your frustration. She said, thank you so much. She looked at them like she stormed out with her, pro her portfolio and I and her coffee. <laughs> I will never forget. I was like this. I looked at them. I was like, mm. she mad at y'all. <laughs> Boy, you going to get it. She said, if Miss Collins comes back to court, if I ever see her come back to court, and the thing is, I did y'all a favor, New York City Housing Authority. I didn't come back to court. I didn't put my case back on the calendar. If I was to put this situation here back on the calendar, if this, if they was to see this, your lawyer will be out of a job. Your lawyer, whoever your lawyer is, better run for the hills. He better resign out now. Each and every one that represented you better resign. They might have to be like, let me get out of here. <laughs> let me run. Mm. Let me just skid skedaddle, skadoodle. Anyway, I'm going to go and take my son to go and get him some boots. I'm going to keep making my little videos of my little goodies that I've bought that make me happy. And I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing. I'm going to continue going to different meetings. As you can see, I stay connected. I stay connected to my community if you see my videos. 
I'm there. When I can be. I'm there. I am there. And I can be there. When I can't be there, I can't. It is what it is. But, um, I mean, strangely enough, individuals who I was expecting to see, I didn't. And I didn't see the crowd that I was expecting to see either. I was expecting to see a bigger turnout. Nonetheless, um, I'm waiting for a change. Why I'm waiting for a change? Because, like I said, sorry, I did this. So, therefore, I don't expect to be, I don't expect any dilly-dally. I expect people to do their job. Do your job. Don't care. So, with that being said, guys, stay tuned to my other videos. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for visiting my channel. Um, just as you saw my light on, I see your light on. Yes, we are here for each other. Caring and sharing, and I share because I care more in more ways than than one. Uh, Miss Percat, I got just I got you. I got you stuff, girl. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. So that being said, mamas, love you and take care.